It's one game to decide a champion in Wicks of Boys Hockey. The Grand River Renegades looking for their first title in five years. The Wrens facing Waterloo Oxford on Wednesday at the Wilmot Rec Complex. And what a start for the Renegades. Just 31 seconds in, the puck pops out to Ethan Steinberg and he puts it in. Steinberg opens the scoring in the opening minute. Grand River is up 1-0. Later in the first, it's a lead pass for Chaz Prue. He's got a break, but how how about Sean Demarest? He hustles back and breaks it up. It's a terrific defensive play, and it's 1-0 Renegades after the first. Second period, the Rens extend their lead on this play. The puck goes to Aiden McCartney, and he buries it. McCartney giving his team a two-goal advantage, and the Renegades keep coming. Under a minute later, this is Steven Pappas setting up Jacob Reed Brandt. It's a beauty for GRCI. They jump out to a 3-0 lead. Still in the second, here comes W.O. Cohen Van Zulian with the point shot. Loose puck. Josh Soulier scores. Waterloo Oxford is on the board. They now trail 3-1. Back to the highlights in a minute. First, a reminder, this video is presented by Izio Financial Solutions, a proud supporter of local sports. Call Peter at 519-576-5410. Third period, Trey Weinstein is on the near side. He fires. Braden beats him with a big celly as he scores on the rebound. Beats and makes it 4-1. And as time expires, the Renegades celebrate. They are the champions in Wicks of Boys Hockey. The Friends defeating Waterloo Oxford. Here is the trophy presentation. Renegades take it by a final score of 5-1. Our post-game comments begin with goaltender Dylan Monk. It's the first one in five years, so it's uh, it's been a long come, but uh, just happy to pull it off, and this is what we came back to do, this is what we're here to do, and this is what we're going to keep doing. So. What was the key for you guys? Yeah! Uh, the key really was winning the game today, if I'm being totally honest. That was, it was sort of do or die. I hope this mic is waterproof though. It's a wild feeling, you know, I've been here for five years and all these years we've had some setbacks. So a uh, great 10 year we lost in the semifinals to Elmira. Last couple years we wouldn't be able to play because of COVID, there was no playoffs. And you know, just coming back for my fifth year, winning it all here at Wixa, you know, it's it's just a special feeling, you know. It's great, great community, great guys and love to play with them and keep keep going forward over at Kwasa. Working all game long, we were driving, going to the net, scoring and we ended up winning and now the boys are all pumped in the dressing room, so it's a good feeling right now. The chemistry is just insane, like everyone works well with each other, not one person's left out, it's just a good feeling. 